Let's graph the linear equation for y equals 3x plus 5. And we're going to do this two ways. First, we'll use a table of values. Then we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. So let's put some values in for x, get a value for y, then we'll graph it here. Let's start out with 0. Because 3 times 0, that's just 0, plus 5. We get 5 for our y. You can choose any values for x, and they'll give you a value for y. And that point will be on our line for y equals 3x plus 5. But it's helpful if we choose values that fit here on the graph paper. So how about if we choose 1? Because 3 times 1, that's 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. And then if we put negative 1, 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3 plus 5. That'll give us 2. So these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals 3x plus 5. So we go to x is 0, y is 5, x is 1, y is 8 over 1 and 8. And we could stop there and draw a line with two points, but it's good to have a third point. Make sure you did this part correctly. So x is negative 1 and y is 2. And you can see they all line up. Let's put a line through that. Let's put arrows on that to show that this goes to infinity. So this is the line for the linear equation y equals 3x plus 5. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So if y equals mx plus b, b is the y-intercept. That's positive 5. That's where our line is going to cross the y-axis. So we go to 5, and right there it is. Next, we could think about the slope, m. That's 3, but we could call this 3 over 1. It's still 3, but now we can say rise over run. So let's go to our y-intercept. We'll go up 1, 2, 3, and over 1 right there on the line. We could go up 1, 2, 3, and over 1, but we've run out of graph paper. So let's go back to the y-intercept and go the opposite direction. Go down 1, 2, 3, and over 1 to the left. We could do that again. Down 1, 2, 3, over 1 to the left. All these points are on our line, so we did this correctly. This is the graph for y equals 3x plus 5. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.